Hi, yeah. My name's Cam. I'm from One Day Creative. I've, uh, ooh, I've just come back from the Antarctic. Oh, yeah. It was a long old journey. Saw lots of penguins. The Antarctic's the south of the world. Lots of people call it the South Pole. I was going to go to the North Pole. That's the Arctic. But, you know, it's a long old way. Uh, tell you what, while I'm here, should we play a game? Alright then, let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors. We go rock, we go paper, we go scissors. And we're going to go one, two, three, shoot. Alright, you've got to tell me if you win or not. Here we go, because I don't know. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. If you've got scissors, you win. If you've got rock, I win. If you've got paper, we drew. But I'll tell you what, because we're learning about the Arctic and the Antarctic today, how about we do the states of water? There are three different states of water, and one of them is really clear. What do you think it is from the North Pole or the South Pole? There's loads of this here. It's solid. That's right, it's ice. Can you do it with me? One, two, three, ice. It's the solid state of water. Brilliant, let's try another one. What else have we got? We've also got the liquid state of water, which is, of course, water. That's right. It surrounds the South Pole and surrounds the North Pole. So we've got ice and we've got water. Finally, can you do this with me? The gaseous state of uh, water, which is steam. Can you do that with me? Steam. One, two, three. Steam. Perfect. Well done. Fantastic. Now in this game, ice beats water. Water beats steam, and steam melts ice. Ice beats water, water melts steam, sorry, water beats steam, steam melts ice. So if you can do that, uh, let's have a game together, right then. Choose one in your head, I've got one, two, three, remember, you need to tell me if you win, because I'm not going to be able to see you. And if you're watching this later on, with maybe a grown-up, which is a really good idea, you should probably invite them to join you. And if they're busy now, get it later on, join them later on, so you can show them this video. Let's have a game of uh, ice, water, steam. Are you ready? One, two, three, ice! If you've got ice, that means we drew. If you got water, I win. If you got steam, you win. Well done. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, steam. So if you got steam as well, we drew. If you got ice, then I win. If you got water, that means you win. Well done, you. Right, it's best of three, so we've got one more to go. Are you ready? Hmm, what shall I go for? What are you going to go for? No, don't tell me, because otherwise I'll know. All right. One, two, three. Steam. If you got steam, we drew. If you got ice, I win. If you got water, you win. So well done you. Right then, after that, can you tell me the three states of water? We've got a solid state, which is called ice. We've got the liquid state, which of course is just called water. And we've got the gaseous state, which is called steam. Fantastic. All right then. I'm going to see if we've got any more activities. Um, but before I do, there's been a penguin following me, so I've just got to go and, uh, got to go and hustle him out of the house. All right. Sorry, penguin. You've got to go now. Bye. Do you know, the penguin gave me a really good idea for our next game. Should we have a game? Okay. It's a really simple one. It's called Spot the Difference, but you need to help me with this. There are times you're going to have to look away and there are times you're going to have to look. So, I'm going to create a statue, and you get to look at it for 10 seconds. Then, you have to close your eyes, look away, don't cheat. I'm going to change one small thing about it, and you need to see if you can guess what that is. Now remember, keep score yourself. Here we go. My statue is going to be of a penguin. Now there are lots of different penguins that live in the Antarctic. One of the really famous ones is the Emperor Penguin. And the emperor penguin's amazing. Go and have a little look at it if you haven't already. They're quite big. And did you know, the dad instead of the mum sits on the eggs. It's true. The dad instead of the mum sits on the eggs, keeps it warm, while the mum goes fishing, eats all the fish, and oh no, when she comes back and feeds the baby.
she sticks up the fish in their mouth. Oh, it's called regurgitating. I go, you go. Regurgitating? Regurgitating? Regurgitating. See if you can remember that. All right, we're going to use three of the animals we find in the uh, in the um, in the Antarctic, or the oh sorry, in the Arctic and the Antarctic. Penguin in the Antarctic. Here we go. You have ten seconds to look, and then I'm going to change one thing. All right, you have to look away now. You have to look away. Look away. Look away. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I'm going to change one thing. Okay, you can look back. Did you get what I changed? Yeah, I put my flippers in a little bit easier. All right, that might have been an easier one. That might have been an easier one. Tell you what, instead of the South Pole, the Antarctic, let's go to the North Pole. What animals do they have up there? They've got a whole load of different animals, I'll tell you that much. One of them is the polar bear. An amazing animal, and one that we really need to look after at the moment. Okay, the polar bear. I'm going to do my statue. Remember, you've got ten seconds to look, and then I'm going to change one thing about it. <laughs> Alright, look away. I'm going to change one thing. Okay, you can look back. Yeah, my fingers, my claws rather, my claws, they went a bit inwards. Have a little look if you haven't already. So, we've got one more. We've got the polar bear who lives in the Arctic. We've got the emperor penguin who lives in the Antarctic. Let's go with another Arctic animal. How about the creepy, small, sly Arctic fox? I'm going to create a statue. Now this is a game you could play with your grown-ups at home. How about you go and see if you can find any more animals that live up in the Arctic? You might struggle to find loads more animals that live in the Antarctic, as penguins are pretty much the only inhabitants there. Up here, you'll find loads. So have a little look and play a game of spot the difference yourself. I'm going to make this one extra hard, okay? Uh, so an arctic fox, sneaky and sly. One, two, three. Ten seconds to look. Alright, look away, don't cheat. I'm watching you. Okay, you can look back. Did you get it? I saw my hands. One was higher and one was lower. I'm sure you did. You're very smart. Very good. So can you name me three animals that come from either the Arctic or the Antarctic? We've got the polar bear. We've got the emperor penguin. And we've got the Arctic fox. Now if you can tell me a fact about the emperor penguin, I'll be incredibly impressed. All right then, next activity, but, oh, the penguin's back again. Listen, mate, I told you, can you just go away? All right, the penguin's gone. He's out on the street. If you see him, uh, could you just let the zoo know, please, because um, they're going to need to look after him. He's not going to be suited to any sunshine, is he? He's from the Antarctic. Alright then, uh, I'm going to finish up now. Before we go, we should have learned some things today. Three states of water. Hopefully you know it. Maybe you can also tell me some of the animals that live in the Arctic or the Antarctic. Alright then, we've finished now, but before we go, um, I'd like you to go and have a little look. Have a little look online and see if you can find any more animals from the Arctic. And I'd really love you to draw one. I want you to use as many colour and pencils as you can. A lot of them you might find are white. So you might need to use some black to try and show where the shade of this character is or this, this painting is or this picture you do is. And maybe you need to use some grey as well. But use as many colours as you can and uh, do let me know how you get on. Thanks very much for watching. I'd like you to like this video, subscribe to the channel and tell all your friends. It'd be really good to see you again sometime. Um, that's my... 
That's our 12 minutes done on the Arctic and the Antarctic. We'll see you all soon. Bye.